So. so, and I haven't asked you about that, but what altitude are you sowing at? What, I mean, we're clearly not too high above sea level here. Yep, yep. But how high are we going uh, up that, to? The highest point would be going back up to, um, I think it's about 350, 400 metres. Okay, and that just holds on a bit longer because it gets a bit more moisture as you go on. Yep, and, and it's, I think that's a probably good point to bring up as well with um, that, that summer period as well and, and late spring is that we find that our... Um, We'll have our lambs, say like down here you can see it's all flourishing really well, but you go up the, the, a little bit high and it's slightly behind. Um, and then, but actually the roles will reverse in that summer period, so we'll find that we'll graze a lot of these areas off in, the, in, in spring and then, then move the lambs up a bit higher where the moisture is. So, you know, you still get in those um, bit dewier days up the top there um, that will... Um, that help the loose and hold on a bit more. And that helps you get a few more animals away, a few more mouths off the farm yep. before the, the dry really kicks in. Yep. And perhaps a final thing, um, I know the development's been going for five years, but is there a, a lifetime for the lucerne stands? Are there any of them that you're thinking, oh, this one's running out, or how are they looking? Yep, so we had um, we had the, the, a couple of these lower paddocks that we actually renewed last year um, that uh, they, they had been in for yeah, five years, and they were just just been on that lower country and and being intensively grazed. We definitely find that it, it does have an impact. But you know, you've heard of people having stands for plenty of years, you know. So, um, but but in saying that, we we will try and um, keep on top of renewing it um, within a you know within reason. Um, just as it's uh, can be quite um, intensely intensively grazed. So. Yeah. So renewal is what do you go? How do you manage that for those stands that have been taken out? Do they go through a cropping phase or what happens? Uh, to them? We did one year. Um, we do one year uh, of cropping for the renewals. Um, just to is that kale or uh, rape, rape. Okay. Yep. So some rape. So yep. some rape, and um, and that just um, that just allows us to pick up any of those worm. Uh, the the sorry the um, the weed burdens. Yep. So it just kind of tidies them up um, a wee bit, and then um, direct drill back into. Um, into lucerne and, and generally we don't have to cultivate them because they're already flat You've enough. You've done the job in the first time so yep. it's actually just it's a... It's pretty straightforward. You, you have a break. Yep. How do you how do you suppress the lucerne that's already in the paddock when you put your rake crop in? Are you having to spray it out? Yep, yep. So yep, we'd have to do a spray um, if not two. Yep, it's, um, it does come back pretty, pretty heavily. Um, but it does... Um, uh, you know, those animals will. Um, it goes back to having a bit of diversity as well. You know, you know they have a bit of a little bit of loose and a bit of rape and stuff. But and then we tidy that, um, tidy it up with a final spray. Great. So, yep. Okay. Thanks.